All right, guys, so now we're here with part two, and part two is going to be the HDLRC flight controller. If you want to grab that bag right here, I'm going to go over a few things. Let's go ahead and open it, and you can just dump the contents out right here. All right, first of all, this is your a reference for where the wiring is going to go. You can just keep that handy. I'll put that right there. Uh, these are This cable right here you will not use, but save it. So put it back in your bag and just start a collection of things because this cable, is, this harness can work on anything that's an eight harness. I believe it's an eight harness. Um, so, but really what we want to focus on is this bag right here, which is going to have more fasteners in it. We're going to use these at the end. So just kind of put that aside. Uh, so you could just, I, I guess you could put it back in the bag if you wanted to. But remember, we're going to come back to that. When we tighten the top of these screws, we're going to use the fasteners that came with this. All right, so we're back to basically our flight controller, right? And on our flight controller, there's a few things that we need to make note of, so I'm gonna set it in here first. We have our capacitor that comes here. Um, I'm trying to see where my XT30 cable went that I grabbed. Ooh, I know I grabbed it. I'm not sure where it went though, but I had one sitting here not too long ago, and now, it, oh, here it is. Okay, and then we have this as well. This will be in your kit too, sorry, I didn't mention that when you were doing that because I didn't have it on the bench. So we're gonna have these. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna prep this up now. To prep this up, I'm gonna use my flux pen. Please make sure you use flux. If you don't have a pen, use, use, just use some sort of flux. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over all the pads, all right, just to make sure that everything is covered well so that when we pre-tin this board, get my soldering iron on, when we pre-tin this, we're gonna be set. Now, everything you see here, if you've watched the HD build, it's gonna be very similar. First thing we're gonna do is let's take our capacitor, all right, and straighten those out just like that. All right, and what we're gonna do now is we are going to take our flight controller and we are gonna run the capacitor uh, through the holes of the flight controller from underneath and then we're gonna bend the wires out. And I'm gonna show you exactly how we're gonna do that, okay? So part of this is gonna be that I'm gonna grab this microscope and then share with you on screen uh, what this looks like in case you can't see it well. And we can at least zoom in this way, all right? So give me a second here and I'm gonna put that screen up there for you. We should see it pop up here in just a second there it goes so i will share that screen with you now and it looks something like this one two boom all right so here's what we're looking at first okay we're looking at exactly this area right here uh and if you want to know the orientation board here's your usb uh, port right here and i don't know why this square is on here there we go um so your USB ports here, so if you want to understand how this board is aiming. But what we're looking at right now is the back, right? So we have the ground, and then another ground, the VTX, a positive, and a positive. And these two are tied together, and these two are tied together. So you're getting uh, the battery voltage out of this positive. You will need this VTX uh, wire as well. But right now what we want to do is we want to focus right here, because here's what we're going to do. We are going to take the capacitor, and I'm going to do this under the microscope first, and then I'll show you what it looks like regular. We're basically going to go through those two holes right there and we're going to bend it to where it can lay flat. Okay, just like that. All right. And then we're going to fold the wires over. All right, basically keeping it in its place. So this is what you want it to look like. All right. Now I'll put the microscope away and I'll show you what it looks like on the bench here and see if we can zoom in a little bit. All right. So here's what we just did. So let me see if I can zoom in for you. Okay, so as you can see here, I took the red area and I ran it through the bottom side of the board and up through the top and then I flattened it and, and bent out that pin. That way it's not going anywhere. And on the, black, uh, on the black line right here, I did the same thing. I ran that up through the ground right here and I bent that. So this is pretty much staying perfectly straight. And just so you always know, I have received capacitors that have these uh, silicone coverings uh, reversed. So do not always go by that. Go by this right here. This line, this area, this side of your capacitor. If you look at this different one right here, look, always the grounds are gonna have this on them, okay? So make sure to look for that. And don't just read the silicone, all right? The silicone colors. All right, so now that we've done that, now that we've done this, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna go back over it with my flux pen. I'm gonna get my soldering iron and get my solder, okay? And I am going to just solder these down. There we go, there's one. And there's two. So now I've got both pads soldered down. So all I'm gonna do is take my snips, come in here, press them up against the board to make sure I'm flush, and cut them both off. 
Okay, uh oh, I just cut through my capacitor. Wonderful, so we're gonna end up, um, <laughs> I'm gonna end up redoing this one real quickly. Uh, it's be my luck actually. So let me go ahead and just kinda get ready to clear that out. And of course, when you do it, please do not do what I did because you will end up having to do the same fix. All right, so let's get this wire out of here. It's, there it goes. All right, so now I'm just gonna, bear with me a second, I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, strip some of this silicone off here. i try, come on. There we go. Now to try to get this through an already soldered area is not the most fun thing to do. But basically what you have to do is you have to heat up the top while pushing on the bottom and there it goes. And now it comes right through like that. And now I've got my capacitor kind of loppy jawed, but there you go. Anyway, so, okay, so lesson one, don't do what I did. Uh, try to be more careful than me. Let me go ahead and just flatten this out real quick. Uh, there we go. And then now when I cut it, I will be much more careful. Okay. So anyways, so we're back now where we need to be here, all right? Um, and I still have my red uh, soldered. I'm just kind of, it's kind of cockeyed a little bit, but don't worry about that. All right, so for me, if you have not made the mistake I just made, you should be ready to go. So what you're going to do next is, it's easier if you want to put this on the, uh, the frame to do the work, but the first thing you need to do is you need to get your... Um, uh, rubber o-rings here and you're going to put two rubber o-rings on top of the fasteners that you've already put down all right so make sure to take two rubber o-rings just like that and put them on each screw because the fly controller is going to sit on top of that okay let's do it just like this there we go all right now now what you can do is you can take your fly controller and with the arrow pointing forward there's your arrow pointing forward to the front and your capacitor going towards the back, you can just rest it on there, okay? Now, once we rest it on here, we can get going with the rest of the stuff. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll actually, I'm just gonna buzz right through this real quickly. So the next thing we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and get our XT30 ready, right? So let me zoom out just a little bit. All right, our XT30 is gonna be about 40 millimeters long or so, 40, 45 millimeters long. So I've got a pre-measured uh, tube here that's 45 millimeters long, all I have to do is just slide this down and kind of get a cut. Or you can take a ruler and you can measure it. If you don't do, if you don't do millimeters, it's gonna be different, sorry. Uh, so you can go 40, 45. I'll probably just cut it between 40 and 45 right here. Um, but if you were using inches here, I would say that you're gonna cut it a little past uh, one and a half, uh, probably about one and a half inches or so, but just do it in millimeters. So about 40, 45 inches. So I'm gonna cut this right here. Okay, we're gonna throw that part out and we're gonna strip these wires and get ready to tin them and solder them as well so that we can get this part going, all right? Now, the difference between this build and the series of videos and the build that I did for the, um, <clears throat> for the HD version is that this one I'm going to have different sections for the fly controller because there's there's a little bit more to solder on this one since we're using a VTX and we're, uh, and we're using a uh, receiver. All right. Now you didn't see me grab a receiver on here because each one's going to be different. I'm just going to go grab one that these guys may have ordered that are requesting this video. All right. So I've tinned the um, I've tinned the XT30. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it with the tweezers. And I'm going to line it up. So XT30 is going to go over the ground here. And I'm just going to rest it on there. It's going to melt in place on its own because the solder that we're using is awesome solder. All right, it just, it's really awesome and melts real quickly. I'm going to take the positive and I'm going to melt it right here. There we go. Okay. And then the last thing I'm going to do to prep this up is, if you remember now, we have our ground, our VTX, and our positive right there. So I'm going to go ahead and tin these up. Uh, because we're going to be using all of them, so I'm just going to put a very small dot of solder on each one. And if you get a bridge, guys, like I just got a bridge on mine between the VTX uh, plug and the ground, don't worry about it. I'm going to show you on the microscope what you do for something like that. All right. And you don't have to worry if you do 
uh, you can link the two as far as now look at this bridge now this would be a great example of what to do okay so here's this bridge I'm gonna show you ready so let me just uh, move this over there we go now check this out let me focus this real quick look at look at this bridge this is a great example. So I've got everything bridged right now. I've got the, if I was to plug this in, I would short this board out in two seconds, okay? So here's what you do. What I do is, if you find yourself in a situation like this, take your flux, just drop it, and, you know, dab it over that area, and then watch how easy this is gonna be. You're just basically gonna take your soldering iron and just pull, that's it. Just quickly pull, and everything will separate as it's supposed to, okay? Now, I don't mind bridging the VTX and the power here, but just look, when we're done, okay, all three are separated and it's back to normal again. So don't panic, don't, don't worry about it. It's not the end of the world, it happens. I use a very thick tip on, on the um, soldering iron. I, I'm very used to it, uh, but you know, if you have to prepare for bridging something, then that's what you do to clean it, is you, um, you put your flux right there and you just, kind of flick it with the tip of the uh, soldering iron and you're gonna be all good. And you can see right there, everything's back to normal. So now let's get back to business. So we have our VTX ready as far, I mean our, our flight controller ready as far as the uh, capacitor goes and as far as our XT30 goes. Now the rest of the board needs to be primed up as well. So before we end this part of the video, we're just gonna go ahead and prime up the rest of the board, including the motor tabs here. So let's just go ahead and do that real quickly. So we'll start here and we'll just go down the list. Okay, now, the tabs that we're looking at here is, we're gonna put our receiver on the far right three tabs over here, which is S bus, five volt, and ground. So, and I'll, I'll put this under the microscope to show you when I'm done. So there's one, there's two, there's three. And then for the, um, for the rest of this, we have our five volt here for the camera. We have our camera link here, our five volt right there, our ground right here, and then our smart audio, which is our TX3 right here. So we're gonna use those four pads. So let me show you on the microscope what this looks like. Okay, here we go. Let's get the microscope back out. And let's do this. Okay, so if you look forward here at this board, at the board, you will see it right here. Let me get this to zoom or to focus. And there you go. So here's the edge of the board right there. We're RX6, TX6, RX3, TX3. And we're gonna use TX3 and the five volt and the camera and the ground. And then we're gonna go all the way to the end and we're gonna use the S bus five volt and ground for the receiver and we're golden, okay? So everything else, if you look at the pads that I've done here, you can see it, one, two, three. We'll just scroll down here, one, two, three. Uh, there's our power and ground. And then we'll come over to this side. There's our three pads there, our boot button, our three pads there, and then we're back up, okay? So we're gonna end this one right here uh, and give you a chance to catch up. So make sure you get this done and then get all the scraps off your table and get everything ready. If you have any extra solder laying around, just throw it out and get ready so that we can come back because the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get started to um, uh, do our motors next and then we'll do our VTX and everything else. It's going to be real easy, guys. I'm going to show you how to do this and so I'll be back in just a minute.